Hana Bank is uh, reeling under the pressure of huge NPA percentage. And uh, but March 18, if you compare, and uh, June 18, there was slight reduction in the gross NPA level. In September, there is a little spike, but uh, overall, uh, stock for uh, gross NPA, that is SMA2, has uh, significantly uh, come down. So, therefore, uh, NPA percentage, though it looks around 22 to 23 percent, this quarter, uh, I can say that gross NPA level will not go up. It is further accretion has uh, stopped, actually. And the net loss as compared to last quarter has significantly come down and the operating profit has uh, gone up as compared to June quarter. And we have been able to make uh, very significant uh, progress in uh, recovery and return of accounts. So that has added a huge uh, jump, quantum jump in the other income for the Anna bank size. Because for other income, we can't focus on LCBG, non-fund based business or other cross selling because that contribution is very minimal. So we are focusing on this recovery and return of accounts which has added up and then therefore uh, net loss has come down significantly as compared to last quarter. Uh, gross NPA 23% and we are hopeful because uh, Dana Bank essentially in the section of corporate credit, we have been essentially in all big value, high value accounts, high value NPS. And uh, most of them, they went to NCLT and NCLAT and uh, some of them are very advanced stage of uh, resolution. And uh, at least five, six cases in our case, they are at the advanced stage and that are uh, likely to, accounting entries are likely to be passed in the month of November and December. So therefore, uh, our NPA, absolute amount gross NPA will significantly come down in December. And we are also focusing on uh, ARC sales, wherever uh, we find this is the right candidate for ARC sale and there is some good interest among ARCs and where some other banks have already sold. So such cases we are identifying and then taking steps to put it on auction for the okay. ARC sale. Okay. And there also we are looking at good uh, progress. So couple NCLT cases and the ARC cases and some of them we are settling uh, one on one also bilateral cases. Hmm. All put together in my opinion, our own assessment very, very conservatively our uh, gross NPA should come down by at least 4 to 5,000 crores in the next two quarters. So that would significantly bring down the gross NPA percentage. Though in absolute terms there is no increase in gross NPA, percentage attempt is going up because uh, our de denominator is actually right. shrinking. We are not uh, allowed to grow in credit because we are PCA banks. We are one among those 11 PCA banks. Right. But they are also relatively, comparatively more uh, stringent norms are applied okay. on Diana Bank. So, and, uh, so now we are not permitted to grow okay. because we are not growing in the denominator. Our percentage is likely to look that it has gone up, but actually in absolute terms we are comfortable, we are okay. December, March we will see very significant progress in this area. Okay, sir, I have a couple of specific questions on the asset quality side. So you said that in absolute terms you've gone down. That's not actually true, right? Uh, amount of gross NPA from what I can read from your release is 16,000, a little bit above 16,000 crore compared to 15,000 crore mm -hmm. last year. So even in absolute numbers you've gone up uh, from what I can see from the release. Can you tell us what the slippages this quarter were? Uh, can you tell us what is as the compared to June quarter as compared to June quarter September as compared to June quarter September quarter we have gone up by 250 yeah, crores yeah but as compared to March quarter we have come down so gross NPS more of this 250 200 over a figure of almost 65,000 70,000 crores of assets so it is uh, not a very significant amount so therefore the percentage terms absolute amount it is staying stable okay around 16,000 but we see significant because all the groundwork has been done as I said they are all at the final maturity stage and for the resolution so therefore December and March quarters we are hopeful. A little bit sir on uh, you know what has been happening in terms yeah. of your lending book uh, so as you said you've got restrictions you can't lend so you're uh, mm. so uh, what has sort of been the strategy of yeah, the bank on that front. Mm. So because we have the restrictions right now first strategy is to reduce the gross NPAs and improve the profitability if possible turn it into profit so these two are first uh, targets for us and once we achieve that and once we come out of pca then we are normal bank and then we will be allowed to do normal lending operations then the book will grow so right now in the last two three quarters we have been in the contracting phase only and uh, whatever resources we have uh, time we have efforts we have all those things we have been diverting to reduction uh, gross npa and recovery and return of accounts and of course improvement in the CASA on the liability side uh, the churning is happening. 
all bulk deposits we are replacing with casa deposits casa deposits as a percentage is growing and therefore the cost of funds is coming down so therefore we have a comfortable nim of 2.62 now and uh, with the same strategy for the next two quarters by march 19 our uh, nim we are hoping at least we will be able to take it up by 2025 basis points so that is the aspiration but there's is there any visibility is there any visibility, so is there any visibility sir place, if we are able to make some profit for march 19 is there mm -hmm. any visibility sir on coming out of pca because i think till december the rbi has told you you need to stay under pca uh, given by your going by your npa percentages at least yeah, visibility. it doesn't look mm -hmm. like it will happen any time in the next few quarters yeah so that you you for you it may look like that but because we have the visibility of some high value npa accounts getting settled through nclt and uh, some of the accounts uh, we are hopeful that we will be able to settle it through arc route uh, 23% is the gross npa percentage now so we are hopeful that we will be able to bring it down to 15% but as per pca norms uh, net npa percentage they take 6 to 9% 9 to 12% above 12% so our provisioning percentage in dana bank is very good at 67 68% on average both the june quarter and this quarter so therefore our net npa whatever i said if we are able to recover 4 to 5000 crores of nps in the next two quarters the net npa percentage would uh, come down to around 5 and 6% so if really if we are able to reach there then uh, we will be able to come out of pca